Have you ever been stuck in traffic and wished you could just fly off? Many people are working on making that fantasy a reality. A startup from India is developing a flying taxi. A Brazilian company aims to launch their model by 2026. Japanese automaker Suzuki partnered with the startup SkyDrive and German company Volocopter wants to ferry people at the Paris Olympics next year. So who will be the first to be ready for takeoff? Remember, the Back to the Future movies envisioned flying cars by 2015. Well, it's about time to invent them, don't you think? But are flying cars really the future? What does this all mean for us average car drivers? And aren't the vehicles that are being developed just hyped up helicopters? Let's break it down. Several air taxi companies are targeting 2024 or 2025 to start their operations. Vertical Flight Society estimates that there are over 700 different designs for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft or EV tolls from nearly 350 companies worldwide. How exactly air taxis will be integrated into our cities is still a work in progress. So far, no manufacturer has received permission to operate. Designs of course vary from company to company. Some have wings, some don't. However, what they all have in common is using rotors to lift them off the ground. Fair enough, but why not just use an already existing helicopter? Let's look at the advantages of EV tolls. Urban helicopter services like Blade have already been in use for quite some time. While these are mostly for the super rich, EV tolls are seen as more suitable for the masses. Here's why. Other than helicopters, which run on petrol, most flying cars operate with electric motors. These are cheaper to operate and maintain, which brings the price down for customers. EV tolls are also quieter than helicopters and thus more suitable for flying in urban areas. And because they don't emit carbon dioxide, they are more eco-friendly. In places like New York City, they could help to minimize traffic congestion. This reduces emissions and makes urban travel smoother. So I guess the only question that's left is, will I be able to use flying cars? Well, that depends. To get a personal flying car in the next few years is highly unlikely, unless you've got a hundred grand lying around. A Swedish startup almost sold out their entire pre-sale inventory of EV tolls to customers all over the world, at a price of around 90,000 euros per piece. The company expects to deliver the vehicles by 2024. But air taxi services might be within reach for more people. Different companies are projecting the price to be between 2 and 10 euros per kilometer. However, experts warn that these projections might be unrealistic due to high production costs. The number of flights and passengers would need to be consistently high. There are undoubtedly some challenges to overcome until we see taxis fly through our city skies. First and foremost, there are many regulatory and safety questions still unanswered. Also, infrastructure for takeoff and landing needs to be built. But I for one would love to use an air taxi and not get stuck in traffic on my way to work. What about you? 